So now we are going to be talking about reactive forms in Angular and I built the bare bones markup. Now I'm going to kind of take out this because this is something I added before now. So this is the bare bones markup, the HTML markup for this form. It's not reactive, it's not template driven, it's just a HTML markup. We're going to convert this form into a reactive form and the procedure is right here. Now the theories of what the difference is between template driven form and reactive form is here on my website, you can read it up. One simple difference I'd like to just mention before I continue is that reactive forms is richer in features than template driven forms. Having said that, let's just convert this form into a reactive form. And the first thing you want to do is to add the form group markup to the form tag. So I'm going to simply say form group is going to be this one and you simply give it a name so i'm going to call it our form okay i'm going to save everything now it's going to ask you to import form group so do that by saying import form forms module a reactive forms module that's where you have this form again if you've not subscribed to my channel please uh, subscribe and also leave me a comment like this video and you don't miss any update when a new lesson is made so this reactive form have a name now reactive forms are not template driven, they are built manually or using form builder which is available in reactive forms module. So that means that we need to define a reactive form object or a form group object in our TS file. So this form here has to be defined, so I'm going to create a field in the TS file our form. Okay, so let's see if we can just follow the procedure. So it says then you create a field our form of type form group okay so this is going to be of type form group okay so this form or uh, this form form group i created right now this field represents the form on the dom or the form on the ui okay perfect so we now have to build the form using form builder okay form builder is uh, is a is a is something available in the uh, reactive forms module that help, module that makes it easy to build up reactive forms. So the first thing we want to do, uh, we need to add to these controls. We need to add them add add names to them. But the names you are adding will be form control names. So for instance, in case of input, uh, this uh, input class form control, we are going to add a name form control name is equal to name and the, for the second one form control name is equal to department so this name corresponds to the name we have in the model that is in the student class and for the last one the country uh, we will have form control name is equal to country and now to bind the select list to a list of items we need to use um, ng4 to look through a list of items and if i have to do that um maybe i can just go back to the reactive forms template and just simply check and copy the markup for the select statement so there's a markup for the select statement i'm going to simply copy it and use it right here uh for select statement so i'm going to paste it right here okay Again, everything is my is in my website, the code and every, all the procedures. So if you miss out something, uh, you can just check. So this option slash options is looping through the list of countries that is specified in the TypeScript file. So for now, I will have to check. Okay, so everything should be fine. So we need to build this form, okay? And then we can give it some data. So to build this form, we need to use a form builder. So we need to create, we need to uh, use a form builder and therefore we need to add a form builder of uh, variable here. So I'm going to say FB will be of type form builder. And this is coming from, so I think I should, this should be private. Okay. So I don't need a semicolon here and just give it space. Okay. All right. So 
we have a form builder created let me just do all this little clean up here and the next thing we want to do is to create to build up this form so to build the form you simply say something like i'd like to build this form inside the underneath method so i'm going to say these at our form dot this at our form is equal to this dot fb dot build dot group and then you specify you just put a semicolon you specify what makes up this form so in this case we have an id department name and country so i'm going to just copy from here and use it right there so i'm going to copy from here and use it here so you can see in the reactive form we are building the reactive form in our ts file as opposed to building the reactive form in the ui okay so we don't have ng model in this case we are just building up the reactive form now this r form which is this r form object we have here represents the reactive form which is available in the ui the reason is because we have in the ui we have uh this form group assigned r form so it binds its comp it binds it to the arrow form that we are building in our ui in our ts file okay all right so how do we handle form submission in this case we can actually use ng submit so we can create a submit um a submit uh event for this form so to do that simply go to the form tag and say ng submit and let's just call it as well signed okay now we are going to create uh we are going to create a a, a send method in in the in our, in, our, in our file so i'm going to say console dot log i'm going to say our form dot value okay so our form dot value simply means everything in the form you can actually go granular level by uh, saying dots and you specify country or department or whatever but for now i want to display everything uh, let's just see. Say cannot find name our form. Uh, add this qualifier. Oh, these are our form, so I make this mistake. Okay. So now, if we go back to our reactive form, first I'm going to save everything. If I go back to my reactive form, you can see that. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I don't have. So I'm going to say our form. So you can see uh, nothing changes now but now let's see what happens i'm going to assign name here i'm going to say kinson oh that's the name i'm going to say control s and you can see the name appears right there um what is this telling me error called select control model that country ah okay so i don't have any list of countries um so let's see let's get back here so instead of saying model as country um, ng for let country in countries okay. I think everything should be fine so if I go to let country in countries so we need a list of countries actually for this form as well so I'm going to simply copy this list of countries from here and also use it in my reactive form so let me just paste it somewhere here all right uh, oh so i have countries okay so let me just delete this one delete this one okay perfect so if i refresh the page if i save everything i should have the list available at this point uh so in a second having ng4 is equal to country in countries it says select control ng model okay, countries okay second let me see um the model is private and accessible to td forms so let's correct this I'm um, going back to TD form here. Yeah. Base of model. So let's take it out from being private to save everything. So I think it should be fine. So, yeah. So we have a list of items here in our reactive form. 
so what else are we forgetting? So again, let's now see when we change something uh, in the UI, will it change in the in the model? So I'm going to kind of come here. I'm going to right click and look at the the, the console window. Leave my console window and I click on submit. You can see Kainton India. Okay. So if I change my name to Genius and I change the country to Nigeria and I click on submit, you can see it changes as well as well. So basically, template driven form and reactive form uh, are two different kind of forms you can use. So as a developer, you should be able to know how to use the both of them. But for very complex applications, we use reactive form. For simple applications, for small applications, template driven forms are okay. So the procedures are right here in my website, so you can visit, follow the instruction to build up this form, set up the CSS and stuff like that. I'd like to stop here. Thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe, activate notification, and also leave me a comment and like this video if, if it has been informative for you. And remember, I'm always there for you.